I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we can finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. So you woke up at like 6.30 this morning and our first word was eat. <laughs> Today we're gonna be going over to a friend of ours house. You guys have met him before, Summer and David. We're very excited, we're celebrating David's 34th birthday. We're gonna be taking the bus over to their house too. This is gonna be the first time we move the bus in many months. We've got a lot of work to do. Funny, you stay stationary for a while and and you get really hunkered down and locked in. Check out what's happening inside with the fam. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what you working on today? Are you planning on taking some photos? Using it as an umbrella. Oh, it's an umbrella. Oh, well that's innovative. Okay. Okay. What's up, Mom? What's up? Looking sleepy. Whoa. Whoa. All right, move over. I was requested to sit with her. Hey, Mama has to finish packing the bus. We're gonna yeah. drive it. Back. Pops is gonna drive it, yeah. But actually, we're gonna drive the Honda because he needs to go beekeeping. No, beekeep. Beekeep? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna beekeep. Oh. And then we're gonna have a fire tonight. No. No, why not? Zay, can Mama get back to work? No. <laughs> Classic, as I earlier. Yeah. Woo! Get a girlfriend. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, looking good. Okay. Can you see? Hey, you reach the pedals. Let's push. Push. <laughs> Whenever we're packing up to get ready to go on the road, Justin does stuff on the outside like hooking up the propane tank to the bus, filling the water, emptying the grey water tank, making sure there's nothing underneath the bus. Meanwhile, I get busy inside cleaning, sweeping, doing the dishes, putting everything that's potentially going to fall in its place, put the curtain away and make the bed, all the good stuff. Yeah, we have a pretty good go team plan and Azalea is like bouncing in between us. She's inside, she's outside, she's very very good helper. Thanks, Zay, for all your hard work. Just checking the oil. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Oil looks good. And it's about like an hour away, kind of. Um, and so that means that we're going to be taking the Honda so Justin can go straight to beekeeping, which means that he has to pack all his beekeeping gear. And this is what making sugar water looks like when it doesn't go the right way. So this is not what making sugar water looks like. You made a sugar disaster, babe. Uh, my bag busted. <laughs> one for the homies. Yeah. That's better, right? That's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> this time of year, it's usually one to one, but now it's two to one, so that's about 16 pounds per gallon. Pro mixer technique. Yeah, so just get a paint mixer. <laughs> Makes it super easy. And then, just like that, you have simple syrup with the bees and their alcoholic weekend. A lot of people probably ask, why are you feeding bees sugar water? What's available in the environment for bees fluctuates. So in the spring, there's abundance. In the summer, there's not nearly enough. In the fall, there's a little blip of abundance, but you know, if you've got a young hive that didn't, that wasn't able to take full advantage of the spring honey flow, and they don't have enough food on them, you've got to give them sugar water. You've got to give them something to eat to get them through the winter. So that's why we feed sugar water. I think the bus is about ready to roll too. We took out all this stuff here from underneath. Close this up. I think Red Pepper's gonna start. She's absolutely gonna start. Okay, good. She's not the type. <laughs> okay, good. This is her final leg stretch before winter. Do you wanna get your headphones? Okay, yeah, you. They're right here. Good job. Try again. <laughs> Try again. Are you ready? Yeah. Folks, looks like we're ready to hit the road. Here we go. We did not get the stack. Woo! 
was a little muddy at the start, but we did good. Yeah. Nice fall weather. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Babe's freaking out about the bees. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the bees are attracted to the sugar water that I put in the back of my car. <laughs> Look at them, they're everywhere! Oh my gosh, babe, you have to drive away from here. Oh, in, I can't drive away from them, they're in the car. <laughs> here, here, let me take it. I'll me meet out. you by the greenhouse. Right now, it's time for us to get on the road. I know mom loves bees, but not in her car. And I keep thinking like, what are we forgetting? And then I'm like, oh yeah, we have our whole house with us. That's cool. So we get all set up. I'm not so sure about this spot. It's a bit soggy back there. We got chocks <laughs> underneath the wheels on this side to level her up. I'm hoping that when we pull out, we can jump over to this gravel pretty quick and not get stuck and get our way out of here. I've got three stops in Raleigh to do for beekeeping, um, to pick up from being sick. I'm gonna get these knocked out, be back here this evening to enjoy some food, some drink, some friends, some family, and some chill too. We're gonna go for a little walk. <laughs> so while Pops is off beekeeping for the rest of the afternoon, I just wanted to give a quick and big thank you to our sponsors for this week's video. You guys have heard us talk about Jackery before. Our bus is hooked up with a um, certain type of battery bank that's not quite big enough for what we really need to be running, especially our fridge. So we really love the fact that we can power this battery bank from the sun and we're able to have an external power unit that allows us to charge up all our gear so we don't have to worry about draining our batteries within the bus so that we can keep our fridge running overnight and not have to plug into the grid or hope for another sunny day. So if you guys are interested in buying a Jackery unit, you can check out our link. We have it in the description below. And honestly, we have nothing but good things to say about Jackery. It's been a lifesaver in so many situations. We used it this morning on the bus to be able to power our backup camera because we still have to do some wiring. It's time to read a book. Chill for a minute. Let these things charge the jackery up so we have power for the evening. Meanwhile, Zalia is reading her Peppa Pig books. We should go and see if Summer and David need some help at the house. Yeah. But for now, we'll leave these bad boys to charge up the jackery. Hello, Summer. Hi. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> You're welcome. Your house is looking beautiful since you moved in. Thank you. Azalea's keen to help it's David, whose birthday it is. It's my birthday. I'm about to vacuum my house. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> That's what happens when we get old. <laughs> I like vacuuming. At least you have an assistant. Yeah, she's going to help me out. Azalea, you need to turn it on. Can you turn it on? <laughs> Press it. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn mine on too. Well, I got dressed up for the night and Azalea got dressed down. <laughs> Straight sweats and trainers. And I'm going to be making our crunchy cauliflower bites for tonight. It is hot fire. Yeah. It's very hot. Go like this. Warm your hands. And yeah, these guys are vegan. So I bought panko breadcrumbs that are without the lactose that you can find from Whole Foods. What? Chill time commit. I love that. Thank you.
Can you say chicken? Chicken. <laughs> Hello. The end of the night is upon us. It's almost Juby's bedtime, but Juby's bedtime. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I realize Did how old I'm getting that? now that I'm mixing up <laughs> names. It's really bad. Oh my gosh, babe! My bedtime is way later than 7:30 p.m. Good night. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Let loose a little bit. We'll see you in the morning. Probably gonna be a little bit uh, a little sleepy, bit sleepy and rough, but. We're gonna follow up in the morning um, and also take you guys on an adventure of how we get out of this place, if we get out of this place. But Juby wants to tell you something. I just wanna say make sure you live your best life. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Come again. I hope you were writing that down. Over and out. Over and out. <laughs> Babes, how are you feeling? Ow! <laughs> Red <Ow>! eye! <laughs> Great! And babe pooped out pretty early last night. It was like maybe. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold it was hold like on. maybe 3.30. 3.30 is not lucky poop out early. 3 o'clock, maybe? 3 o'clock? That was, yeah. Okay, whatever. I stayed up a little. Yeah. Hey, Azalea, come here. You went to bed early. Yeah. yeah, you went to bed really early, but you pooped out and you woke up and then you opened the door and called Mama and Pops. You yeah, were like, you, Mama! You yelled to And us. Mama and Pops were on the deck and we ran to you like so fast, like lightning. And then we put the wall up so you wouldn't come out of the bus <laughs> in the night. Anyways, we had a really awesome time. Jamie did a dope DJ set. It was great to have live music again. It was great to be with friends again. It was great to share laughs and smiles and Diet. more memories. Lalo. We snoozed it up in the bus last night. Lalo. It was chilly. Lalo. Shower? You want to have a shower? Yeah. That's a great idea. And we had some delicious potluck foods last night. It was so good. It's Rufus. Oh yeah, I gave him, I gave him a chat. The man of many lives. <laughs> Rufus, you were like Mario last night. You literally gave it up like five lives. How does Rufus make you feel, Azalea? Is he a silly man? Yeah. He is silly, isn't he? <laughs> this is Jamie. You're on our video now. He was the resident DJ for the night. Five stars. It. it really was so good. Zyketic. It's fun to see it in a different environment. Yeah, yeah dude. So Juby was kind enough to take Azalea and watch her so that me and a couple of the boys could go play some disc golf in a new course out here in North Durham. Woo! Oh! See, straight as an arrow. This course is under construction. hands down the most unique course I've ever played. I've never seen a hole suspended in the air like this. It's been an interesting time trying to find these holes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's upside it. down. Yeah. I guess we decided to stay another night. <laughs> so what happens when you go over and have a sleepover and 
have a lazy day the next day and you have your home with you, you end up not really needing to go back to your other place unless you really need to. So we decided to stay, which I guess means that we need to turn our fridge on. So we decided to start hooking up to the grid. Are you all hooked up, babe? Yes. Um, but I'm gonna see if it works. Uh-oh. Why wouldn't it work? That's a good question, I'll let you know. Okay. Clean up, clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Clean up, oh hey. Clean up, everybody do your share. Electrical 101. <laughs> Disclaimer, if something goes wrong, don't blame me. This is what I've learned. If you have a large amount of electricity going over a long distance, over a lot of electrical cords, you need to have a much larger gauge electrical cord. We're currently doing that, and I think that our gauges are okay, but we're definitely not gonna run the heater tonight just to play it safe. We don't want things to heat up and cause a fire. Could you imagine if we burnt down somewhere in David's house? Bad news bears. That's one way to put it. <laughs> so for now our batteries are charging and we can run our fridge, which is good. We're in a good shitty news. spot, so um, anyway. Electrical 101. Complete. Bebito. Bebito is on your back. Go see if you can take him to Pops. Yeah. Meet Azalea's new best friend. <laughs> you want to show Pops Bebito? Yeah. Let's go. Go. I'll follow you. Go, Pepito! Yeah. Is it a spider? Yeah. Spider web. Okay. Go take Pepito. Let's go. We've decided to do an outdoor movie night tonight, so we're setting up the screen. It's Sunday morning. Everyone kind of called it an early night last night. Yeah, that's the house. But we're not going to go in the house right now, okay? Yeah, we called it an early night. I think everyone was kind of in zombie mode by the end of the day. It's been such a long night and such a long day too, but we really, really, really enjoyed it. We had a blast. Zay, did you have a good time? Baby. Yeah, you played with other babies too, huh? Yeah. Let me get that boogie. Let me get that boogie. Let me get it. Okay. So we're packing the bus up and we're going to head back home, get set up for Sunday, try to take a nice, easy, chill day and get caught up on all the stuff we need to do. And what else are we going to do? Is that right? Are we going to eat more food? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to chill? Yeah. Are we going to get work done? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to ride the bus? Yeah. Good. Bop. Yeah. to the good old form. Hopefully we won't get stuck down there either. Might be a bit swampy. Oh, we're gonna go get some more eggies? So we decided to park the bus back in our original like OG spot from when, when we were building it out. It does look quite OG. <laughs> Yeah, um, I guess we decided Dad. that since we're going to be staying in it through the winter in case we get stuck, we're more easily tow out a bowl. This is when we get stuck by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, we put it there and we get more sun. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> come on. So yeah, we're back on the farm. Back, yeah. We need to come and tend to our chickens. <sighs> to the routine a bit more. I think they missed us. Do you think I they missed us? I think they the missed chickens us. chickens miss people? 
I think so. There's one chicken that's not in the coop. Oh, oh. it's rogue chicken. <laughs> Man, uh, it's just an unbelievable feeling. You know, we've probably talked about it before, but man, how good it feels just to be back with people and having a good time again. And Jamie killed that DJ set. So. He sure did. Anyways, I guess we're back to regular life. That was like fantasy living life. Sometimes it feels like life is a dream and you're like living the ultimate life. This is regular life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Not that amp it's bad. It up. Come on. I love regular life. All right, negative Nancy over here. I think our life is great. No, anyway, I get what she's saying. It's kind of a back to reality kind of thing. So, getting life back in order, chicken for eggs. Ooh, so many eggies in here. Hello. Oh. Hi. Zalia, what are you doing? Okay, so you're gonna take those to HQ? Yeah, very soft. Good job. So I guess, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see you next week. We'll let you know how this week goes and what we get up to. Don't forget, closing my business in less than a month. It's quite crazy, but if you want anything, you should go and snag it while you can. And until then, put a smile on. Till next week. Oh, you know what? Put a what? smile on and go talk to your friend. Yeah, That's go what talk I have to your to friend. Say. That is a good idea. It was really nice to talk with friends. Life is good. Share it with each other. And peace. Mm -hmm.